Today, I'm gonna show you guys how to make extra crispy, extra saucy, and most importantly, extra healthy Korean fried chicken right in your own kitchen. Not only is this chicken so crispy, you won't believe it wasn't deep fried, but it's also so delicious, you won't believe that it wasn't carry out. If fried chicken has been calling your name, but losing weight is also at the top of your priority list, then I'm telling you, add this recipe to the rotation because I guarantee it won't disappoint. And for every single one of my healthy, diet-friendly hacks to make food that actually tastes good that'll also fit right into your diet, don't forget you can get all my recipes in one place if you check out my cookbook, which you will find at the first link in the description box. We got every recipe from the channel in here, and the best part is every time I add a new video just like this one, the book is updated for free. So if you're the type that likes to lose weight and eat good at the same time to where it doesn't even feel like a diet, then make sure you check this bad boy out. I know you won't regret it. All right, ladies and gents, if y'all already have some fun, then I am too. Let's go. All right, guys, we're gonna make this look easy. We're gonna start here with a pound of chicken breast tenderloin. I prefer the tenderloins because they're super convenient. What we wanna do is cut these up into little bite-sized pieces, make each bite about yay big, and we're gonna be set. I'm gonna keep chopping these up until we have 448 grams, or one pound exactly. And through the power of editing, all of our chicken is chopped up. Now we need to make a marinade for it to soak in some flavor. What we're gonna do is place a bowl on a food scale, and we're gonna start by adding in 28 grams of rice vinegar, 14 grams, of low sodium soy sauce. We're also gonna add in three grams of ginger paste, and then finally a dash of salt and a dash of black pepper. Now I'm just gonna go in, stir everything together, and then once it's all combined, I'm gonna take my chicken, place it down in the bowl, and then now we just go in by hand. You wanna make sure every piece of our chicken is coated in our marinade. And then once we have them all coated, I'm just gonna press them down in, bring that liquid up to the top, and I'm gonna let them sit and soak anywhere from about 10 to 20 minutes to absorb that flavor, and let it do its thing before we get to breading. But while we're waiting on this, we can get some of the other stuff ready. Now for the breading, we're doing something different than I've ever done on this channel. Normally with the chicken recipes, when we want them to be breaded, I use flour, but I recently have gotten addicted to using cornstarch as the breading, and let me tell you, this makes the crispiest chicken you will ever make in an air fryer. You gotta trust me. So what I'm gonna do for this recipe, since we're making an entire pound or 440 grams of chicken, we're gonna need a decent amount of cornstarch. I'm gonna weigh out 80 grams in my mixing bowl, and perfect. Once we got this weighed out, we'll set this off to the side. Then I'm gonna grab another large mixing bowl, and we're gonna make our spicy Korean sauce. Now this requires a few special ingredients, but if you go to the Asian section, of your grocery, you should be able to find them relatively easily. Now, the first ingredient for our sauce is one that if you watch any cooking on YouTube, you see is blowing up right now. This is gachugong, which is a spicy chili Korean paste, and it adds a ton of flavor to these recipes with not many calories. So in my mixing bowl, we're gonna weigh out 36 grams, and then to balance out the heat from the gachugong, we're gonna add in 32 grams of no sugar added ketchup. Then to give it that sticky, sweet flavor that you're familiar with if you've ever eaten this, we're gonna add in 21 grams of clover honey, and now to add more flavor into thin it out a little bit, we'll toss in 30 grams of low sodium soy sauce. And then finally, because everything's better with garlic, we're gonna toss in five grams of minced garlic. Now we're just gonna go in, stir everything together until we have a smooth Korean style sauce. And once you got it mixed, it should be thick, sticky, sweet, and spicy. It should look just like this. And now that we got everything ready, let's go ahead and get to cooking. So the first thing we're gonna do is bread. Now what I love about using cornstarch is we don't need an egg wash, so this is about the easiest breading you'll ever do in your life. And you also get the crispiest outcome without adding too many calories from deep frying. So what I'm gonna do is grab some of my chicken, let some of our marinade drip off, I'm gonna toss it down in the cornstarch, and then now just grab the bowl, give it a little shake, let everything get coated, and here we go. If I pull the chicken out, you can see it's got a full coat, looks perfect to me. I'm gonna sit it off to the side on a plate, and I'm gonna continue doing this until all of our chicken is fully coated in our cornstarch. All right, the chicken is breaded and we are officially ready to start cooking. So what we're gonna do is grab our air fryer basket. If yours doesn't remove, just spray it down inside. We wanna give it a generous coating and nonstick spray. The thing with the cornstarch is that it does need a little bit of oil to activate. So we're gonna use this to make sure we soften them up while they cook. So I'm gonna go ahead and start placing these down in the basket. We are going to have to cook these into batches because we do have an entire pound of chicken here and we don't wanna overcrowd this thing. So make sure you give them a little bit of space. If they're touching a little bit, that's fine. I would say the number one piece of advice I can give is make sure everything is in one layer. As long as nothing's sitting on top of anything else, your air fryer will work magically. Now we'll just pop these down in the air fryer. Then I'm gonna dampen each one of our nuggets with nonstick spray. And now all we gotta do is air fry these on 400 degrees anywhere from 14 to 17 minutes. 17 is gonna be crispier. 14 is still gonna be crispy, but not as crunchy if that makes sense. I like it somewhere in the middle. We'll do about 15 and add a little more if needed. Here we go. Whoa. 
while we're waiting on that, I'm gonna get me a snack, and what better than the unreleased milk chocolate monster cookie crunch and a bar. 21 grams of protein, tastes like a candy bar, covered in milk chocolate with Reese's Pieces and pretzels in the middle. Can't go wrong with that combination. Here we go. Mm, so good. This flavor is dropping September 15th at 3 p.m. Central. You can set a reminder on your phone if you want to be one of the first to grab it before it sells out. And if you also want to try the best tasting protein bar on the market that tastes a lot like these recipes, you can't even believe that it's got 21 grams of protein. Make sure you go to theanabar.com. Use the code RGF10, you'll save money, and you can check out the wide variety of flavors. Every one is a guaranteed banger. Appreciate you guys as always. Now, let's get back to this chicken. All right, guys, take a peek. This first batch is halfway done. If you look in here, you can see things are starting to crisp up. That breading started to form. But some of these pieces here still have some white cornstarch on them. So what we want to do is grab our basket, give it a quick shake. We're going to sit it back down in. And then we want to make sure we dampen any of the cornstarch that's not yet moistened with a little bit of nonstick spread. So get in here, give it a couple zaps. Then we'll close the lid and let it resume. I'll see you guys when it's done. And check it out, people. Look how crispy this chicken is. If I just grab a piece right here, you can see how flaky and how crispy that breading is all the way around. You can grab a piece like this, you can see how it's textured. We got that marinade flavor soaked into it. Right now, as these stand, you could choose a dipping sauce and go to town and it would be amazing. But we didn't make that sauce for nothing, so let's toss them. So we'll just grab the mixing bowl from earlier, toss all the chicken down inside, and then we'll just go in and shake them up until they're all coated. And once it's tossed, we'll just place it on a plate and serve. Oh man, get a load of how beautiful this is. Not only is this one of my favorite ways to have chicken, but the fact that we didn't have to deep fry anything, add unnecessary oils for our sauces, or use any crazy ingredients that ramp those calories up is a true testament to how with a little bit of know-how you can create truly epic meals in your kitchen that'll fit right into your diet and help you lose weight and build muscle. Like I always try to preach, it's not that certain foods are bad for you, it's how they're being prepared and the ingredients used that are making them not work for your diet. When you follow these recipes like this one right here, or the ones in my cookbook, you're gonna be putting your best it forward with every single dish you make. Now, before we try this out, if you could please hit that thumbs up button for me, that would mean the world. I truly appreciate it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed and comment anything down below. I love to read them. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's put this in our mouth. Here we go. I wanna make this next part quick. You see what I'm wearing right now? It's Young LA, they sponsor the channel. I love the apparel, it's all I wear. I think if you went and checked it out, you'd really enjoy it. Go over to youngla.com, use my code RJF, you will save money. I guarantee it's gonna make you look better when you step out of the house. That's all I got on that. Those of you that checked it out and support those launches, I appreciate you. Follow me on social media if you wanna see the try-ons and when the new launches come, that way you can stay in tune so not everything's sold out when you check. All right, let's get a piece right here. Boom. Check it out, guys. I know you already saw everything we just did, but I'll give you a closer look at that finished product. Three, two, one, Lego. Mm, this is phenomenal. What I think makes it so good is the balancing of flavors. The gachugong is traditionally spicy. Honey, traditionally sweet. Ketchup kind of neutralizes it all. The soy sauce. And overall, it's this bite that you think is going to be spicy when you first bite into it, but then it's dulled down. It's sweet. You get the crispiness from the chicken, the marinade. The combination of flavors here is absolutely incredible. Unique. It's something I think everybody should try. Mm. And that breading on the chicken, mwah, dan -a dan And with most fried chicken, when you cover it in sauce, it tends to make that breading a little soggy, not as crunchy. But here, let's see if we can hear this here. Mmm. That cornstarch breading is the healthiest way to get authentic fried chicken in your air fryer. Trust me, I'm not a doctor, but I have been known to explore a cavity in my day. Now in this entire pound of chicken that we breaded, fried, and coated in a sauce, what we have for the whole thing is 812 calories with only four grams of fat, 105 grams of protein, 89 grams of carbs with only two grams of fiber. We're getting a whopping 105 grams of protein in this entire thing. Really with this much chicken, this would probably be two servings, three servings if you're splitting it up. For me personally, I think half a serving would be great. And with that few calories from fat, that much protein, and carbs around 40 grams, I think this is perfect for what you get. If you compare this to Korean fried chicken you would get anywhere else, you'd be mind blown to see that a pound of chicken made the traditional way would be well over double the calories with way more fat, way more carbs, and even less protein. Like I always say, it's not about getting up the food you love, it's gotta make better choices. And when you cook this way and eat this way for the majority of your meals, it makes maintaining a lean and aesthetic physique pretty dang simple if you ask me. Doesn't even feel like a diet to be honest. Whew. Here we go, people. We are down to the final bite. Let's end our own. 
Mm. For me, this recipe is a definitive 10 out of 10. It's easy, it's unique, the crispiest and best breading method for air fryer chicken I've ever seen. And overall, I know if you try it, you're gonna love it. If you make it, tag me wherever it is your social and let me know what you think. And as always, if you own the greatest cookbook on this planet, be aware that this recipe was just added to the book because every time I drop a new video, the book is updated for free so it keeps on growing. If you wanna follow the best diet on this planet with every one of the recipes, hacks, and secrets in your pocket whenever you need it, check it out, the link in my description. I know you won't regret it, baby. And with that, we're out of here, folks. I just ate over 100 grams of protein in one sitting and I'm gonna be full until dinner. Appreciate you guys as always. You always know the thumbs up, the comments, the subscriptions, all that stuff helps the channel out more than you know. If you've had any success following this diet, leave it in the comment section. I find that those stories are the ones that people are here for to see that they can also do it. Recently I had a QA and a and a guy wrote in about losing over 100 pounds and dropping 10 pants sizes, which is nutty. So yeah, that motivation always helps. So if you have it, put it in the comment section. With that, I'm done rambling. I appreciate you guys as always. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see every one of you with the next video. See you guys. Boom, 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 baby. We gone.